Today we're looking at several improvements to the RC Sketcher components. This includes a new way of reinforcing 3D objects rather than using the center line, line based system. We can now just grab objects straight from the CAD file, whether they're in Rhino or other programs. And all we need to do is tell them what type of member we want to reinforce that shape as. So beam, slab, or wall, or column. And you just select them and it will draw the reinforcement in. So it works out the thickness and all and cover and everything else. Uh, it'll also work around shape different shapes and holes in objects and things like that. Okay, to start off with, I've got a 3D object here as a CAD object. It can be done in most CAD programs, but it's in Rhino here. And I want to turn this into a beam. It works best if it's solid, but this one's actually hollow, and that doesn't really matter. So I want to turn this into a beam. I'm going to turn it to wireframe so you can see if the reinforcement comes in. And the new component is RC Sketcher Brep. Prep is a representation of a 3D object. So I've just brought in my component there from the struct scripts toolbar. And I'm just going to select that object and say set multiple breps. It's always better to do multiple. And then you just let it do its work and the rebar has come in. Now this defaults to a beam layout um, and it's got some defaults in built in there so it's quite easy as you can see to add rebar to a 3d object now if i wanted to do more objects i can just do the same thing i've got a second beam here in fact this is a poly surface and this one is a open extrusion so they're two different types of 3d object but say I want to make both of these beams, all I have to do is set multiple breps, as I said before. Just wait about a second, and there you've got your reinforced beam. Now I've got some other objects here in this CAD file. I want to turn this object into a slab, for example. So all I need to do is go to the RC slab footing layout. So it does slab and footing. Put that in there. Put in another RC sketch prep. Connect rebar layout to rebar layout. And then just select multiple reps again. And it will bring in slab reinforcement, which is obviously different. It's just simply two layers of mesh or bars and obviously you can change all these values cogs number of layers um, etc the centers of the bars and all that sort of stuff as you can with the beam the beam uh, information is there if you need it and finally i'll do these two wall objects so once again i've got my rc wall layout put that in bring in the rep component, rebar layout to rebar layout, select multiple reps, and there you've got your RC reinforcement for a wall. You can see you've got uh, a bigger diameter edge bar, which is often a requirement, and it's shaped to whatever the shape of the object is, so it's cut cut and give some cover against the extent of the shape, including holes uh, in an RC wall, for example. Now, if you want to see slightly more advanced, um, I'll use this beam layout in the original component. 
and I want to say change the link shape. So my link shape code is 51 and I can see what link shapes are available. There's 51, 63, 47. So if I just change this value to 47, to go set text, 47, and that will change the lig to that U lig with hooks on the end. And notice it's done both of those beams. Um, likewise, you can change any any other variables. Um, so example, if I change the diameter of the top bar to, you can change it to any number, say a big bar, 30, 30 mil. It's in metric, so there you go. Top bars are now 30 mil diameter. And you've got spacing, number of bars, cogs. Say I put some cogs on one end. The bottom bars, there they are. And you can change the cog length. So there's a lot of variables to play with there. The last thing I should mention is that we've made some improvements to the original RC Sketcher component, which is this one here which uses lines as its base. So if I just draw some lines here, <clears throat> and I set multiple curves, um, what you can do now is beforehand you would use a number of these RC sketch components if you wanted different sizes for beams. So now, I can set different values for different uh, lines. So for example, I might want one to be 400 wide and the other one to be 800 wide. So if I put that in there as a list, you can see the first object is 400 and the second is 800. Same with depth, or say if I use the same, so I've got a small beam and a big beam. There you go. And um, this allows you to just have a bunch of lines and you can set up lists for uh, your variables. Um, so you could set up an Excel spreadsheet or something like that and then populate these lists and do it that way. Apart from that, we've made some general speed improvements. Um, and maybe the easiest way to use these tools is to use RC Sketch All. So if I grab that and I dump it over here, it will just bring in one component and that has everything in it. So it says explode on it. So if you right click and say explode cluster, you'll get everything all in one place. That you can visually see. So your two sketcher components, the brep one and the normal one, a component that combine, combines schedules because you get a schedule out of this. So you can put multiple inputs into this and it'll give you one schedule. You've got your bar types, and you've got all your different options. A member, so beam, a wall, slab or footing, and of course your loose bars. The loose bar is pretty powerful. You can do any of these shapes uh, in, with any variables of uh, the letters shown there, and you can put them in any location as well. So centered off to the left or right, up, down, uh, either side, and in and out of the beam as well. So there's all your options there. That's maybe the easiest way to get started. And that's about it for the moment. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.